Hi, I'm Mrs. Pryor, and I'm so excited to have your student in my class this year. You may have heard that we're doing a flipped class. I've been spending the summer studying, researching, and, and planning for this flipped class, but you probably have some questions of just what that is. So that's what this video is all about, to help you understand a little bit more about just what is the flipped class. In a nutshell, a flipped class takes what used to be done at school and what was done at home and flips them around. So basically, what was done at school is now done at home, and what used to be done at home is done at school. Let's take a closer look. In a traditional class that we've all been in, the teacher stands at the front of the room and gives a lecture while the students take notes. Since the lecture can take quite a bit of time, students would be spending most of their class time doing the least challenging assignment, which is to take the notes. The teacher is at the center of all the student learning, and the students are mostly inactive and often bored. There's very little time for students to interact and work toward understanding, especially working together. Then, after class, the student is sent home with homework to practice those skills that were taught in the class lesson. And at home, when the student attempts the homework, they don't have a chance to get feedback, and often there's no one around that can help them when they get stuck, which can lead to frustration, and many students I've seen will give up. So let's see what happens in a flip classroom. Just how does that work? In our class, students are going to go through a process called whisking. This stands for watch, summarize, and question. Whisking is what the students will be expected to do outside of class, or in other words, it's going to become their homework. First, students will watch a short video lesson, pause to take notes, rewind when they need to see important information again, and try some guided practice problems with the video. The video lessons are designed to be short, of course, no more than 15 minutes each, and they will only cover one concept at a time. Next, the students will be asked to identify some key vocabulary and concepts from the video they watched and use them to write a summary of the lesson using their own words. Finally, the students are going to record questions that they still have about the video lesson, and those questions are going to serve as a jumping off point for our time together in class. And that's it. That's what they do at home. So, that leads us to the next question. What happens in class? Students are going to use their class time to practice and improve upon the concepts that they were taught in the video lessons, and these activities are going to be called class workouts. The first part of class will be used for students to discuss, discuss the information in their WISC, especially their summaries and their questions. Then they're going to work together and with me to solve problems and work on labs, projects, and demonstrations that are going to deepen their understanding and sharpen their skills. I'm most excited about this part because instead of teaching from the front of the room, I'm going to have the opportunity to move from student to student helping and giving one-on-one -on -one support. It's my goal this year to be able to talk to every student every day and give them the help that they need. Now flipping the classroom has many benefits, so let's look at a few of them. First of all, flipping the class is going to free up my time so that I can help students on an individual basis. Next, students are going to have class time to work together and learn from each other. There's more time in class for a student to engage with the content and have the support of me there to guide them with the more difficult concepts. Fewer students should give up early. Students who are absent will still be able to access the video lesson, so they'll have an easier time staying caught up with the class. And students have access to the videos at any time. If they need to see a lesson again, they have that opportunity. If they want to work a bit ahead, they can do that too. And they can use those videos to, to review for tests and upcoming quizzes. I have spent the whole summer researching and preparing for the flipped classroom experience with your student, and I believe it will lead us to greater overall success. I've learned from teachers who have flipped their classrooms, and they have found that student achievement is higher. Students take more responsibility for their learning, and they're more engaged in the learning process. Students report that they're glad for opportunities it gives them to work with other students, and they get an opportunity for more individual help with the teacher. So that's the flipped classroom in a nutshell. Now, as a parent, you're probably wondering what your job is to help your child be successful with the flipped class. Most of the time, change is difficult, and there are bound to be glitches as we all get used to this flipped class model. Here are some things that you can do to help your students succeed. First, you can ensure that your student has a place to watch their lessons that's free of distraction. You can also ask your student to read their lesson summary and their questions to you so you can see what they've learned. You can communicate any questions or concerns that you have with me. 
And always encourage your student to re-watch the videos as they review for tests and quizzes. And finally, feel free to watch the video lessons along with your student. In fact, if you want to come take some tests, you're welcome to come to the classroom anytime. Learning is a huge task for students. But what they do in class this year is only the tip of the iceberg for what lies ahead of them through their whole lives. I hope that with the flipped class model, your student will get the support that they need to build an even deeper level of understanding with the material. And most important, I hope that it will help your student increase their level of responsibility and engagement in their own learning as I am able to help them during class time with the harder concepts. I hope that you as a parent will refer to the class syllabus and the parent letter of information for any other questions you might have with the flipped classroom. And you can also find my contact information on that letter. So please. Feel free to email me or call me at any time, and, and I'll be happy to answer any questions or concerns that you have. And I'm really excited to work with your student this year, and I think this will be a great year with lots of learning and understanding.